Hey guys, so today we are going to be showcasing quite possibly the best tank in the entire game, especially when you consider that you can actually do some real damage now in addition to the crazy tanking, right? And of course, I'm talking about this brand new, or rather newly extremely awakened uh, AGL Golden Frieza at rainbow status here on the global side of the game. Now real quick, before we get into the gameplay, let's talk about his EZA stats. Starting with his leader skill, he gives AGL types attack plus 35% per AGL key spear obtained. So he is a nuke lead, most of the time you're not running him as a leader, but if you're running, you know, punching bag or any other event where you need to hit as hard as possible, then he's definitely perfect for that. And his super attack raises attack and causes supreme damage. So he infinitely stacks attack with every super and gets stronger and stronger as the event goes on. And his passive is key plus two, attack plus 90% with four or more key spheres obtained, reduces damage received by 90% when HP is 40% or more. So as far as the changes go, he used to get no key and no attack on his passive, and now he gets key plus two and 90% attack with the uh, key spears, so obviously a huge difference there. As far as damage reduction goes, he always had 90%, but the restriction is, is easier to meet now. So instead of 50% or more HP, now it's 40%, so it's easier to actually maintain that damage reduction. And of course the links, the path, the, the categories all stay the same from pre-awakening. So uh, that's it guys, that's all you need to know about this AGL Golden Frieza with the EZA. Before we start the gameplay, I do want to give a shout out to my boy Doffy from Pain Shop on Twitter for, I mean you guys know him as the guy that provides a lot of good deals for Dragonstones, right? But you might not know that he actually also does great discounts for 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross Gems. So for all my Grand Cross players out there, if you're looking to save a decent amount of money on your next gem purchase, then make sure to hit him up on Twitter, link in my description down below, and definitely let him know that your boy Tiger sent you. Okay, so with all that said, with that out of the way, let's get this showcase started and see what this AGL Golden Frieza can do, and more importantly, how good he is compared to the tech Golden Frieza with the EZA. Okay, so first turn, we have him linked up with the Angel Golden Frieza here which I believe is his best linking partner, or at least one of the best, but I think they are the best linking partners for each other. And uh, this is gonna be a lot more than four key spheres, so he will get that extra 90% attack. And uh, defensively, he's not gonna take any damage. I mean, let's be real, he only has 64,000 defense, but it doesn't really matter because he's getting 90%, once again, 90% damage reduction. Here we go. 48 damage. Nice. 1.69 million for the first super. Wow, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Now, of course, if you're, you know, talking about a normal unit that just got an easy A, it's not the most impressive, but you gotta take into effect or into account, you gotta think about the fact that he is one of. No, he went, you know what? He's probably the best tank in the game. I have to think about that a little bit more. I have to think about that because we do have some other really good tanks, right? There's Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, there's Tech Golden Frieza, and I believe both of them also get 80% damage reduction, but I think AGL Golden Frieza is the only unit that gets 90%. Hold on. Yeah, I, no, I, I think he is. I think he literally has the highest damage reduction in the entire game. And if you guys didn't pay attention, his stats are actually really good too. With the EZA, he has more defense than the Tech Golden Frieza at rainbow status. So more defense, higher damage reduction. So as far as his actual tanking goes, he's better than Tech Golden Frieza. Obviously the difference is that Tech Golden Frieza still gets some damage reduction, even below 50% HP, whereas this guy loses all damage reduction and you're really in trouble if that happens when you're below 40%, right? Although 40% isn't too hard to maintain, it's still an issue, it's still a problem if you ever fall below that. So that is definitely one advantage that the tech hold in Frieza has. But if we're talking about like just from a pure tanking perspective at their best, um, this guy is actually a better tank, the tech golden Frieza. And damage wise, I mean, as you guys saw, he kind of holds his own. 
Okay, so he got he got 1.69 the first time. Oh crap, I forgot to give him orbs. Okay, so you know it, it, it's good to show both sides. It's good to show both sides, like with the damage or with the uh, attack boost and without the attack boost. So in the second turn here, no attack boost. Wasn't on purpose, I'll be honest, because I wasn't paying attention to the orbs. So he didn't get the extra boost there, which is okay. Which is okay. Still over a million. That was basically uh, around what he was doing before the EZA. Actually, a little bit less, right? Because if you think about it, he got more attack with the EZA. So I guess before the EZA, he was not even breaking a million a lot of times, which is super sad. But I guess, I mean, like before, his only role, like literally his only job, was to tank. And that's all we used him for. But now he does both, man. He tanks and he hits hard. Or hard enough. Like at some point in this video, he is gonna go over 2 million because don't forget, he stacks attack infinitely, right? So for longer events like this, like he will be able to do a good amount of damage over time. <sighs> I don't wanna mention it, but uh, you guys saw Terrorless had to eat his stupid fruit and transform and just not do what he's supposed to do, man. The only reason I run Terrorless is to be a support. I will complain about this every single time in a showcase where Terrorless transforms. He should not be able to transform, alright? He'd be a much better unit, in my opinion, if he just didn't have the ability to transform. It's so annoying, man. It's so annoying. Okay, here we have type... Oh, crap. One sec. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna... Just gonna... Reset that real quick. Nothing happened. Don't worry about this. Alright, you know, some people say this is cheating. This is not cheating. Because... It's in the game. They allow you to do this. So, I think it's fine. But yeah, no, I messed up there. I wanted to give him four orbs, but I clicked the wrong one. So, we're going to just reset it a little bit. All right, real quick. Didn't take too long. There you go. Very nice. And uh, do this turn again. So, there we go with... Oh, actually, you know what? Let me move this guy over. There we go with the four plus orb. So, he does get the extra attack again. And uh, we have type advantage too in addition to the 90% damage reduction. So I really hope we get supered. Okay, over 2 million, like I said. There you go, over 2 million. Not bad damage at all, man. 93, 67. Ah, we didn't get supered. We didn't get supered. It would've been nice to see, you know, a super only do double digits to us, to us as well, which we would've taken, for sure. We didn't really get a chance to... Of course, Kid Boo gets supered of anybody on this rotation. All right, okay game. That's, that, that, that's fine, that's cool. I see how it is. Um, you know, I might, I might just leave Metal Cooler there because uh, have advantage and also defensively, he's not bad. 92,000, yeah. Okay, hopefully Turles, by the time he comes back to AGL Golden Frieza's rotation, he will, you know, revert back to his, uh, his, his useful self, his support form. All right, so now we're on Super Saiyan 3 Goku. A lot of attacks in the first turn, which I like a lot, or first slot. And uh, let's give all these orbs to AGL Golden Frieza. Um, defense obviously stays the same, he doesn't stack defense. But once again, defense doesn't really matter as long as he has his damage reduction up. But if you don't have the damage reduction up, you are gonna be in trouble because he still only has 64,000 defense. And uh, 64,000 defense is really, really mediocre. It's very poor, so you're gonna take damage. Um, you're gonna take a lot of damage when you get supered, in that case. But like I said, 40% HP is not that hard to stay above. So far, we've done okay. If uh, at some point in the showcase we fall below 40% HP, then I guess you can see how well he tanks without the damage reduction. And let me tell you, it's it's not good. It's not good. All right. Um, you know, what, I do want to keep Kid Boo, or actually get Kid Boo, supporting the cool the the AGL Golden Frieza. But at the same time, that's a lot of attacks at the end. Can we take out Super Saiyan Three Goku? Is the question. Maybe I should have transformed Cooler. But then again, that would take away attention, you know, from Golden Frieza, and we don't want that. It's not a Cooler showcase. We don't need a Cooler showcase anymore because you guys know how good Cooler is. Like, everybody knows Cooler is one of 
the best TURs in the game. I'm not gonna say the best anymore, because I do think that there are better ones. Specifically, is Vegito Blue. That's just my opinion. I know some people have gotten pissed about that. But that is my opinion, all right? That's just the honest truth for me. I think Fizz Vegito Blue is better. We're getting sidetracked though. Okay, so Turles is finally supporting again. Thank you. And uh, there we go. We got the orbs. We've got the extra attack. We're still tanking. All right, sweet. Another super. It's gonna do 28 damage. It's so weird how the super does less damage than normal attacks. Like damage reduction in this game is so weird to me. It just like doesn't make sense a lot of the time. Cause yeah, often a super will do less damage than the normal attack, which just, it doesn't compute, man. Like mathematically, how does that work? I don't know. I don't get it, but it's fine. It's fine. Like at the end of the day, it's all just like no damage essentially, right? Like in effect, it's basically no damage. Uh, I'm a ghost slasher this turn because I don't trust these guys. We're gonna, we're gonna just make sure we get to the next turn, get to the Golden Frieza. Uh, and you know what, let me save some orbs here for the ATL one. So let me just, all right, we, we save those tech ones, we're good. Um, but yeah, man, I don't get it. Like if, you got, if someone can explain the actual calculations to me, to like explain the difference in like the, the super attack damage and the normal attack damage, because obviously the super attack damage should, should be more, right? Even, even if it's still like very little, it should be more. Right, because without the damage reduction, we'd have we would have taken like many times more damage from the super attack compared to the normal attack. But then when when with when you take into consideration the super attack or sorry the damage reduction, then it becomes less damage than a normal. Like I don't get it. it doesn't make any sense to me. All right, uh, you know what? I'm gonna risk it a little bit. I'm gonna say that we're not gonna get super in the first slot, even though we have damage. Uh, we have a uh, type of advantage, so it doesn't really matter too much. But I want. AGL Golden Frieza to actually take the super. That's the main thing, right? So hopefully our gamble works out here. And the super attack is actually on the second slot. If that's not the third slot, Kid Boo's gonna get punished really hard. Which would not be fun. There we go. Okay, nice. Nice. 2.3 mil now from Angel Golden or sorry, AGL Golden Frieza. So almost on the same level, damage-wise. There we go. Okay, almost on the same 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 uh, level, like attack-wise as the uh, Int Angel Golden Frieza, which is quite good. We took a super from Godku, by the way, for 93 damage? I think it was 93. 93 damage. Okay. Stupid Turles, come on, stop doing that. <laughs> Turles, stop it. Stop it, Turles. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Oh my god, okay, uh, oh. Oh, we can't avoid the token attack. <sighs> Fine, um, let me go Stusher one more time. All right, and I guess we're gonna token attack with Cooler because it's, it's unavoidable. Like somebody's gonna token attack this turn and who better than Cooler? We can at least move on to the next stage, the blue Goku and maybe tank a super from him for like double digits and oh crap oh 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 dude how that what <laughs> all right that's fine it's fine um yeah and then i think that's gonna be it like you guys will have seen enough obviously if super saiyan blue goku in the legendary goku event is doing double digit damage for a super attack against golden frieza then he's he's kind of untouchable I mean, there's also MUI and UI, but I mean, UI is STR, so we would have type of advantage in that case. Probably still not taking any damage. MUI might hit us for like a little bit harder, but as long as we have the damage reduction up, the point I'm trying to make is that he, he he's good to go, man. Like, <laughs> it, it doesn't really matter who we're facing. As long as this Golden Frieza has his damage reduction active, which you will get as long as you're above 40% HP, he is the best tank in the game. He is the best tank in the game. There we go. There's a super. Perfect. Yo, everything's working out. Everything's just going our way. Why should it be less than normal? It is less than normal. What is that? <laughs> Why is that happening? Okay, so we took a normal for like almost 100, and then we take a super attack for like 40 damage, and then we take a normal for 11 damage, which makes sense. If it was always like that, it would make sense to me. 
But yeah, the, the super did less than the normal again. I don't get it. I don't get it. Now, Cooler might actually get us killed here. Which would be okay to me, because I think that's plenty of showcase that we've done. 89k for the normals. Oh my god. <laughs> We're somehow still alive. We're somehow still alive. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna just let it die. I'm, I'm just gonna let Cooler die, but... That is today's showcase, guys. Thank you very much for watching. What I use this Golden Frieza over the tech one is the question that I asked in the beginning of this video. And I'm gonna say... Sometimes, sometimes, like, obviously I think Tech Golden Frieza overall is a better unit just because he actually can still consistently give you damage reduction regardless of your HP level. And he also, I think on average, will hit harder, right? But this Golden Frieza is nothing to scoff at, man. Like, you should not sleep on this guy. You should not sleep on this guy. He can hit very, very impressive numbers like damage wise, right? We got up to like 2.3, 2.4 mil in this video. And uh, I mean, there is really no better unit for tanking when his damage reduction is active, which will be active most of the time. Like 40% is not that bad. It really, did we fall below 40% one time except for when we died? I don't think so, right? So there you go, guys. That is AGL Golden Frieza, in my opinion. In my opinion, the best tank in the game. But that's just me. If you guys think of somebody else, let me know in the comments down below why you think that is. And uh, it's totally cool if you disagree, right? Like, that's part of the fun of having people in the community to talk to and having different opinions. So that's cool. And um, that's all I got to say, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.